Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's jump into this Scorpio. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, so Scorpio, we have an interesting read here. Um, we have official person. Okay, we have change. We have marriage. At the bottom of the deck, we have mature man. Okay, so, um, looks like somebody who you had a, have a foundation with, who you're the mother of their children or mother of, or you feel like you had to mother them or something of that nature. Um, somebody who was dealing with you officially, like when they would speak to you, it would definitely be formal. It was like um, this person was almost closed to you. Their heart was locked to you. Um, they made some change or you made some change. Somebody moved out of the home or there's like a moving out. Or someone who used to be close to now, it's very, it's very cut and dry. It's very formal. It's very okay. Well, thank you. And... Um, it's not informal it's not with love it's not with devotion or care it's more so let's just get it done um but you changed you either moved out of the home or you moved away from that situation or you started to go in a different direction maybe even some of you started to you your status changed your marital status changed maybe you are now single or you're acting single you're doing something more so for yourself that's the change that happened because somebody was dealing with you very formally anyhow maybe even someone that you are sharing or were sharing a home with it looks like now um you're focused on yourself with this marriage here you're committed to either you or there's somebody else here where the connection is very promising it could actually lead to a marriage or a long-term relationship um, you're, you're with something or somebody else or you're focused on somebody or something else here. Um, some of you, there's somebody outside of your connection and you have to deal with them very formally, very official. Because if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. So you have to be very structured and very concise with them. Um, you had to change how you dealt with them. You had to change yourself. You had to change your own emotions. You had to change your mindset so that you could be fully committed to maybe a new person, a new way of living, a new something, a new job, a new business. Um, there is a mature man here. And this might be that new person here who's going to co come in and offer you a lot of change. Um, maybe even a new marriage, new love here. Once again, that's coming up. Um... Maybe because you just really stopped trying to invest in um, a situation uh, where somebody was very cold and not giving. And if you are the other person in a connection, this person could be dealing with you very formally because they are already married. And they could be rushing off. Well, as soon as they come to see you, they rush off. Something about a car, too. I don't know if somebody's in cahoots with a car or a car or somebody looks at the other person's car um, somebody bought the other person a car something about a car I don't know um, there's someone that you have to deal with very formally because maybe they have something to do with your car or connection to a car um, connection with a car who you live with I don't know what that is about um, you stop putting your energy effort time into someone because they wanted you when they wanted you okay they, it, it wasn't fair. Um, they were very formal with you. And, and once again, if you're on the outside of a relationship, they want you when they want you. There's an older woman and a younger man here. Um, that dynamic is here. Um, so maybe someone's trying to, you know, you know, assert their authority with you, um, dominate you. Someone uh, always bringing up the age difference and the age gap. Someone thinks that they're more official in life and status than the other person. Let's see what's going on here. Um, there's an energy of um, this mature man here. 
uh, he's going to come in for some of my Scorpio women who are coming out of relationship and or marriage. He's going to come in and shift some things and maybe upset this official person because this person thought that they would be the official person in your life forever. Um, even if they didn't treat you right. Right. Because um, it seems like games, lies, and manipulation is all that they have to give you. Um, this new person could be saying to you, or you're saying to this new person, I had an emotional void, but you filled it with your love. So that's beautiful. Um, somebody was very cold, uh, or they started to deal with you very cold. I don't think... I don't think it um, started off that way, but it definitely has turned. Someone says, I love you so much, it scares me. So you got a new love. It seems as if somebody wants to lock it down, commit to you, marry you very quickly. Um, they love you so much that it it, it's, it is uh, <laughs> scaring the pants off of them. And it seems as if you're going to leave some, or you have already left some other energy, some way of living behind. Um, when I ignore you, I'm with someone else or trying to find a new victim. So someone with this official person is definitely ignoring you, not putting you first. Um, it's because they were doing their own thing and they weren't committed to you. They're committed to themselves, their position, their work. Um, they're committed to getting the prestige for themselves and their own life. Someone is saying, look, we're both cheaters, so why not get back together? It could be this official person now they see that someone else is barking up your tree or sniffing at your door. Um, now they're saying, look, we should get back together. Um, let's see, what else is going on here? Now someone has become the chaser. Maybe you were the chaser um, a long time ago. Um, and now that now that uh, the tables have turned, uh, this person is chasing you. Let's see what else the oracle cards have to offer us. It looks like you're yeah. With that change there, it talks about someone moving and moving on quickly, not even taking leaving shit behind, leaving people behind, possessions. It just doesn't matter at this point. Just taking off is what that change card talks about. So some of you could just be taken off because whatever this is, it just doesn't serve you anymore. Yeah, long long distance. Some of you could be moving across seas. You could be, yeah, far. You could be far, um, moving far away. You could be putting distance between you and someone else, this other person, this official person. Make sure that there was or that there is distance between the two of you. Um, because they didn't want to get close to you. They want you when they want you. Um, let's see. You could be dealing with a dark male. Um, someone who could be Hispanic. Um, maybe has curly hair. Has that whole Rico, Rico Suave type feel. They think that they're very handsome. Destiny. The hand of destiny stepped in here. Um, and thinks that are supposed to happen started to happen even if it felt like it was um it wasn't necessarily good for you somebody turned their back to you Scorpio or vice versa you turn your back to someone you are the ice queen or someone in your life is showing up as the ice queen someone wants an open relationship or they have an open relationship here um, it could be the woman that wants the open relationship. It could be the man. It could definitely be the woman here. Someone feels like you are their true love or they found true love. Um, somebody does want somebody else in the connection, like a third party in the connection. There's somebody who is just not settled. Um, they could travel for work or get around or something of that nature. They could do like import, export. There's something where there's um, things moving back and forth. Or this person is moving back and forth. They get around here. Um, this person is not settled. Okay, this person is not stable in their, in any of their endeavors when it deals, with, when it comes to other people and relationships. Now they may be settled in their business endeavors or whatnot, but they're not settled in um, romantic 
relationships here. There's also someone who travels a lot. There could be you meeting someone while you're traveling. There could be someone that you're traveling to see. There's someone who you feel like is your true love. There is an open relationship here. Again, there's the, the um, there's long distance here. There's somebody dealing with somebody very form formally because there's somebody else here in the picture. Um, somebody has to travel to you or bring something to you because they're outside of the home now. You guys are not in the same home. This person may have a rotation of people that they visit and they go see and they hang out with and do whatever they do with. Let's leave you with a soulmate oracle card. Soulmate oracle card. With this open relationship, um, this could be an open relationship in terms of someone actually asking for it or this is what they're doing behind your back. The relationship is definitely open, especially if there is distance physical distance between the two of you um let's see sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night so something could be ending for you or there's um there was something that ended for you and it makes you very sad but it looks like you didn't get something that kind of picks you up or brings you better energy better um this person will be better for you especially if you're a woman and you're dealing with a man um, this could be someone you met through a friend group, okay? This could, this could be someone, um, it's unexpected. Unexpected that you would actually fall for this person or that you would meet this person. The cards want you to um, let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on. And it looks like you're doing that with that change card. You're understanding that maybe some people are in your life for a season and not for a lifetime you're understanding the reason why they came into your life maybe even to show you something about yourself scorpio if this reading resonates for you go over to the website book your own oracle reading just like this one or you could um ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below paying for your question receiving the answer to your question on your mobile device you can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. And if you want to get in on the new moon manifestation session happening this Friday, July 9th, um, go ahead and uh, watch the video that follows this video. Um, it'll show you how you can get in and manifest new love, new, new streams of income. If you want to banish something or someone or so, or some situation fear uh anxiety you can um definitely uh, get in on those new moon manifestations thank you scorpio many blessings to you